Hello again, friends, and welcome back to Suzanne Elizabeth's Kitchen. Today, um, I am going to be making a uh, broccoli soup. And it was inspired by a show I watched yesterday um, on CNN. I want to say it's called The Wonder Something. And the person hosting it is Bill Weir or Bob Weir. But anyways, he goes to all these interesting places in the world. And yesterday he went to this little Greek island called Ikaria, I think. My mind is completely gone. But um, anyways, the people, a lot of people there live to be over 100 years old. And one of the things that he was talking about was um, the fact that people who live there um, have a mainly plant-based diet. And not that they don't eat meat, but they eat it for special occasions and occasionally. And you know what's interesting is that I would say about a year ago, my diet was 90% meat-based. Um, you know, they had, remember when Meatless Mondays was a thing? Well, I would have a hard time. I, I ate so much meat that I would have a difficult time um, even skipping one dinner a week. And then, over the course of a year, I just changed my eating habits, and actually it all started with soup. I love soup. Coco, I'm going to give you a little piece of carrot. Coco, every time, as you know, every time I turn on the video camera, Coco gets very excited and she wants to be the star of the show, and so she starts barking. So, and she loves vegetables, but she doesn't like, you know, she doesn't like carrots. Anyways, so I started, I love soup, and it was getting to be this time of year. It's March, and um, spring was coming, and I started making soups. And because I made so many soups, and they were all vegetable-based soups, um, my diet just slowly but surely evolved from being meat-based to being um, vegetable-based. And, and I still have meat, you know, once a week or so I have a nice steak. And Now, by the way, what I'm doing, this was half a onion that I just chopped up, and I'm probably a good tablespoon of um, butter and then so that the butter does not burn just a splash of olive oil and where's my salt here's salt my little salt by the way you know I'm always talking about how I love um, using freshly ground salt and pepper these things do not have to cost a lot of money. Both of these were purchased at my local thrift store for a couple dollars. So, you know, when I'm recommending something, I'm not asking you to go out and spend gobs of money. It's not necessary. A lot of my pots and pans have come from the thrift store or from um, something like TJ Maxx or what is it, Home Goods. They, they're terrific. Okay, so anyways, so I truly believe, and I lost 50 pounds over the last year, just by, the only thing I did was I um, started cooking with whole foods, and by that I mean buying vegetables and cooking, if I want soup, I don't open up a can of soup, I cook the soup, and I'm yakking away here to let you know um, that it's very easy to do and it's very good for your health. I really believe it's, you know, I believe you can have your cake and eat it too as long as the rest of the week, well, after you have your cake, you're eating whole foods that you've cooked yourself. They're not out of a can. They're not out of a package. I remember watching a show once with Alton Brown um, on the Food Network and he said, he was talking about how he himself had lost a lot of weight. And he, he was talking about when you go grocery shopping, shop the outer perimeter, the outer rings of the supermarket and stay out of those interior aisles. 
And the reason for that is, of course, that on the exterior of one wall is your produce section, the exterior of another wall is your meat section, the exterior of this wall is your dairy. And so if you just stick to those outer walls, you're going to be eating a very whole foods healthy diet, and that's what we want you to do. All right, so I am just sweating my um, half of an onion. And now, just to show you that you can use um, frozen vegetables. You know, I went on a rant recently about not liking frozen vegetables. I don't like certain kinds of frozen vegetables. But just to show you that sometimes even I change my mind. Actually, I change my mind frequently. Um, but that's what learning is all about. Anyways, so these are some organic frozen broccoli, and I'm just tossing them in there. You can hear it's making a big old, let's see, can you see? There you go. They're just in the pan there. And I'm just gonna give those a quick stir. And they've already been blanched, so really they're cooked. Now, what's gonna make this really special is here is a package of um, some turkey stock I made recently. You can use turkey stock, chicken stock, if you want this to be completely vegetarian. You can um, use veg vegetable stock, knock yourself out. So I am, what I usually do is I make a huge, huge, huge pot. In fact, I think I have a video of me doing that with a turkey carcass and everything. And um, just make a big old pot and then freeze it and freeze it in those plastic bags. I lay them flat on a cookie sheet, put them into the um, freezer, and then, you know, obviously take the cookie sheet out later. And then uh, you've got quart size bags of stock, fresh stocks, whenever you want it. Now, what is this? This is beer. And the inspiration for this was a few, I don't know, a couple months ago, I made a um, cauliflower soup that had mustard and, mustard and beer in it. And so when I was thinking about this soup with broccoli, because I don't have any cauliflower today, I thought, why not do the same? Why not incorporate some of those wonderful flavors? So here's my Dijon mustard, and I'm just going to take a good heaping teaspoon of that, add that in there. And because really what you want to do when you're making a vegetable-based soup is sometimes you have to turn up the flavors because the vegetables themselves just need a little bit of help. Now I'm pouring this beer in here and I'm gonna pour a whole beer. And then I don't have any, I don't have any cheddar cheese, which would be a perfect, you know, cheddar and mustard and beer go together like peanut butter and jelly. I don't have any cheddar right now. However, what I do have is a little bit of feta cheese. And that tartness, Mmm. Mmm. That tartness from the uh, feta is going to be perfect in this soup. So, essentially that's it. Look, we're at nine minutes and that's with me talking all this time. All we're going to do now is just let all of these wonderful things cook and marry together. Um, not very long at all because, like I said, the broccoli is already cooked. All, all I'm going to be waiting for is this hunk of, uh, this iceberg of turkey stock in here to melt. Once that's done, I am going to, um, Lord, my mind, my mind is gone. Um, I'm going to blend it with this immersion blender. You could use, I love these, I, I use these all the time. Um, this is a brawn, I think brawn immersion blender. You can buy these things quite inexpensively. They last forever. I've had this for 20 years, honestly. Um, you could also use a food processor. You could use a blender, uh, whatever. If you don't want to 
do, you know, if you don't want to blend all of your soup, you don't have to. It's your choice. It's your food. That's one of the central tenets of my cooking, is that I truly believe it's your food. I'm providing you with a recipe with flavor profiles and with a philosophy. And my philosophy is, it's your food. <laughs> cook it the way you want to cook it. Enjoy the taste that you like to taste. But the, the, the entire point of this is to cook healthy foods and to invite your family and friends into the kitchen to cook with you, to eat with you, to bring everybody around the table to cook and eat and talk. That's the key to happiness. That's it. All right, immersion blender, and off you go. Um, and one of the recipes I recent, I have a new website. Suzanne Elizabeth's with an S on the end, SuzanneElizabeth's.com. You'll find videos, you'll find recipes. One of the recipes are for these fabulous garlic sticks that I made with um, kefir, which you know is something I'm very fond of and it tastes just like buttermilk. These are garlic bread sticks made with um, self rising flour, kefir cheese, I mean, kefir, you know, the liquid kefir or buttermilk you could use, or milk, and basically that's about it, and garlic and butter, and they're so fantastic, and what I did was, I, you make a tray of them in like a 9 by 13 pan, and then I just take them out and I froze them, put them in the freezer, and then they're available for whenever you want to have, they're the perfect accompaniment to soup, and take them out and use them for soup, just keep them on hand. Um, so go to SuzanneElizabeth's.com. <coughs> Here's another one of my wonderful aprons that I'm modeling for you. Custom-made aprons, and you can buy an apron when you go to SuzanneElizabeth's.com. You don't have to buy an apron, but I would love it if you did. I'm in love with these aprons. Um, but most of all, I just want you to go and just... Cook. Go and start cooking. And that's it. That's it for today. So I love you guys. Thank you for following my videos. This aprons, cooking, and writing make me very happy and I'm glad to be able to share it with you. So, iced coffee. God bless you. And please, get in the kitchen, cook with family and friends, and most of all, talk and share your love. Till next time. Bye.